what's up everyone? This is Sean Ramjack Singh, gameplay producer for NHL 10. Um, we have a couple of things I want to talk to you about today. Um, some of the gameplay improvements we're making for NHL 10. So let me start by saying, you know, from the from the time that we shipped NHL 09, we listened to what you guys had to say. Um, watching you guys play online, um, gathering your feedback from the boards. You guys have found a lot of bugs. Um, trust me, we track every single one of those. Uh, we try to fix all of them for this year for NHL 10, so you don't suffer the, uh, you know, the, the, suffer through the same bugs that we shipped with last year. Um, so today I'm going to run you through a couple of bugs um, that we've fixed right now um, and then later on down the road we do a lot more of these video blogs and we'll start talking about some of the new features, some of the cooler stuff. But first and foremost I want to start by saying uh, we hear you guys and we're taking care of the issues that we shipped in 09 um, so they're not part of the, uh, your 10 experience. So first and foremost let me start by saying the curve shot goal is the killer exploit that you guys exploited the crap out of and we're fixing it this year both on the animation side and on the on the goalie side. So when NHL 10 ships, that curve shot goal is not going to be there. Um, you know, speaking of goalies, I just want to mention we've had one person, one single SC working on uh, on goalies the entire year, along with a dedicated animator. So uh, it's been his it's been his goal, you know, to to stop all the exploit goals, and and that's what he's doing a great job at uh, so far. So um, the one other goalie issue I want to talk to you about real quickly is um, something that was introduced around the second patch. Uh, I've seen you guys all do it, cutting across the crease um, and then shoving the puck five hole. So the goalie opens up the pads there and you guys tuck it five hole. Um, again, we've got a couple different uh, ways to solve that issue. Um, I think you're going to like the way we, we fix that issue. Um, we've got some great new goalie animation in there to deal with that situation. So uh, goalies, big, huge focus for us this year. Uh, on top of the fixes, you're going to see lots of great new animation as well. Um, you know, some of the things that we've done in the past to cheat. Uh, how we deal with certain situations are now gone and we deal with them a lot better, more realistic fashion. Um, next thing I want to talk to you about is, uh, you know, four and four situations. You have a winger and a center on the ice and you have the winger taking the face off. Why? Well, probably shouldn't happen that way. Uh, we're fixing that this year. So, uh, you got the center on the ice, it's four and four situation, the center will be taking the face off and not the winger. Not a big thing, uh, but it's something you guys have called out, something we recognize as an issue and something that we're fixing. One more thing to speak about, uh, you know, I, I, so I watch people play here, um, you see people online, so you know, a lot of times when I play online, I don't like to take the strong side D, I like to take the weak side D, and I see how you guys work that strong side CPU uh, defenseman. You know, going down, either beating them wide right away, uh, or going down to the hash mark, stopping, going back to the blue line, um, you know, just, just working him until he goes into, you know, a poke check or commits, and then going around him wide, um, and then getting into the, uh, the cut across crease goals. Uh, this year, in fact, um, you know, our entire focus the last two weeks has been trying to make that defenseman, that strong side defenseman, um, just a lot more uh, difficult to beat wide, uh, difficult to cut back upon, uh, and just a lot more intelligent, play better positional hockey, um, and not allow you to just exploit them so easily going wide. Uh, one other thing we added new last year was um, manual line changes. So, you know, a lot of hardcore guys have been asking that for a long time, uh, including myself, I wanted that as well. Uh, but, I mean, again, we ship with an issue with it. Um, a lot of you guys know, you change your offense, you change your, you change your forward line, um, then you try and change your defensive pairing, and just the, you know, the, the CPU just completely ignored what you selected for your defensive pairing. So if you put your third forward line out there, you would automatically get your third defensive pairing no matter what, even if you try to put your first uh, defensive pairing out there. Again, it's a bug that we ship with, we're not happy about, but we're going to fix that as well. Uh, one other thing, you know, you guys called us out for this. Um, I honestly, honestly didn't believe how bad it was. Um, you know, our, our, you guys called her passing out as being arcadey. Uh, Liddy mentioned it in his video blog the other day. Um, you know, we thought, we knew, we knew it was a bit of an issue, but until we started putting in some of the new passing improvements we did this year for HL10, which you guys are absolutely going to love. I'm not going to speak to in too much detail quite yet. Um, you know, we put in the new set passing for 10. I went back and played all nine the other day. And I was blown away by really how arcadey it was. You guys were absolutely 100% right. Um, so you guys are going to love the new passing we put in this year. Um, again, I'll be doing a video blog a little down the road, you know, a little further down the road, where I talk uh, more specifically about that. But um, I can guarantee you that you guys are going to love the new passing improvements we made this year. I got one more thing to show you. Um, I can't show it to you from my desk. I figure I might give you the first little glimpse of the game. Um, so we're going to cut away right now. We'll go to my desk real quick. I'll show you the screen and you guys can take what you want from it. All right, here we're at my desk. Like I said, I want to show you a little snippet from the game, one screen from the game. Um, 
You guys will see something here that you guys have been asking for for a long time. Uh, Maddie, show them the screen right now. Individual sliders and the CPU. So now you guys can customize the experience, make it exactly the way you want. While we're here, while we're here at my desk, get, get a shot of these. Get a shot of these. I gotta zoom out. The P3s, we have them.